and in mine lands are here in Pennsylvania. I'm actually standing on some right now. Pennsylvania police say they have found the remains of a woman who fell into a sinkhole. A silent transformation is reshaping the landscape of Pennsylvania, one that's not marked by roaring earthquakes or televised disasters, but by a creeping instability emerging, literally, from below. In neighborhoods, along highways, beneath playgrounds, parks, and even under lawns where children once played without a care, the ground is opening up. Pennsylvania, an urgent search for a woman thought to be trapped in a sinkhole has turned into a recovery effort. Authorities say she fell down the freshly opened hole two days ago while looking for her cat, but... Dozens of confirmed sinkholes, verified by state and federal experts across the Commonwealth, are exposing hidden vulnerabilities beneath one of America's oldest states. From the rural hills of the Highlands to the paved arteries of Chester and Montgomery counties. What was once assumed rock solid is caving in, often with no warning, but perhaps the subtle shifting of the soil underfoot. In a state built on history, the earth is rewriting it in real time. This increase in sinkhole activity is not a localized quirk or a freak weather anomaly. We want to head right now to Western Pennsylvania. The search for a grandmother who apparently fell into a sinkhole has gone from a rescue mission to a recovery effort. It's a warning etched into the earth, written in collapsed pavement, vanished roadways, and most hauntingly, in stories now defining communities from New Kensington to Upper Marion Township. As mining history, complex geology and modern infrastructure converge underground in Pennsylvania, the ground itself has become a cryptic puzzle, one that geologists, emergency planners, and everyday residents are now racing to solve. Why is this happening now? What ancient scars and human interventions are converging to make the state's bedrock treacherous, seemingly so suddenly and relentlessly? Where and when Will the next hole open? When Earth gives way beneath our feet, are we ready to confront the hidden forces that have molded, weakened, and now threaten the very ground we trust? The karst beneath Pennsylvania's hidden fault lines. Pennsylvania is known for its rolling hills, deep forests, and coal-rich valleys. But beneath these familiar, beautiful features lies something more mysterious, and at times, dangerous. The very rocks that built Pennsylvania's industrial might now underpin its geological instability. Central to this story is the landform known as karst, terrain shaped by the dissolution of limestone or dolostone, riddling the subsurface with caves, channels, and voids that can collapse without warning. For millions of years, water has seeped through cracks and fractures in the Commonwealth's bedrock, carving submerged labyrinths wherever limestone could dissolve. The Department of Conservation and Natural Resources, DCNR, is clear. Sinkholes and caves are a definitive part of Pennsylvania's landscape, underlain by limestone or dolostone. In these hidden spaces, water eats away rock, centimeter by centimeter, until nothing remains to support the land above. Rainwater, sometimes rendered more acidic by environmental changes, accelerates this process, chewing tunnels that snake far beyond what the eye can see from the surface. The result is a geological roulette, one in which heavy rain, seasonal thaw, or human activity can tip the balance between safety and disaster. From the highlands to key transportation corridors near Philadelphia, the earth is pocked by unseen cavities. The crisis isn't abstract, Route 80, a critical interstate was recently disrupted after sinkholes damaged the asphalt, causing major traffic issues. There are rarely visible warning signs. The ground appears undisturbed until suddenly there is an abrupt absence where a road, building, or field once was. What makes Pennsylvania especially vulnerable? The answer is twofold. First, the widespread distribution of karst terrain means much of the central to southeastern counties are essentially suspended over zones of weakness. Second, the state's extensive history of underground coal mining 
a century-spanning enterprise, has left behind a sprawling network of tunnels and voids that only amplify natural risks. These vulnerabilities aren't whispers from the distant past. They're a present, daily danger. With climate change bringing heavier precipitation and more variable freeze-thaw cycle, and with infrastructure aging and expanding, the odds are increasingly against us. Whether the threat is natural or man-made becomes almost academic when the result is the same. A chasm where certainty once stood, a reminder that what appears stable may, in fact, merely be holding its breath. Coal, caverns, and collapses, mining's long shadow. To understand why Pennsylvania faces persistent sinkhole threats, you have to descend into a world, sometimes quite literally, shaped by coal mining. For more than a century, 29 of Pennsylvania's 67 counties have been affected by coal mining. Southwestern Pennsylvania, in particular, is marked by a dense web of abandoned and active tunnels, chambers, and corridors that cut through ancient layers of rock. These mines were once the engines of industry, feeding Pittsburgh steel mills, fueling towns, and driving the region's growth. Yet after the coal was removed and the miners departed, what remained was a legacy as real as any extracted energy, corridors and voids that are largely unmapped, unsupported, and unknown. Over time, wooden supports decay and metal frames corrode, making the ground above fragile, a shell suspended over emptiness, only as strong as the thinnest remnant of unbroken stone. In many southwestern counties, the surface appears entirely ordinary, suburban, and well-kept. But between neighborhoods and shopping plazas are mine subsidence zones, areas where the land can suddenly drop away. With time, erosion, and water infiltration, these zones can collapse, producing sinkholes that may swallow vehicles, homes, or whole sections of roadway. The scars of mining are often invisible, buried beneath decades of construction and growth, but their presence continues to shape where disaster may strike. This threat is not confined to rural outposts. It stretches into populous suburbs and commercial corridors. In Montgomery and Chester counties, state and federal agencies have launched a $22.4 million remediation project along US 202, DeKalb Pike, one of the region's busiest highways, just to stabilize the ground above suspect areas. Office parks, stores, and homes line these routes. Their stability now not just a matter of construction, but of the unpredictable earth beneath. Not far away, Route 29, Moorhall Road, is receiving similar attention following early signs of subsidence. These are not isolated repairs. They are forceful efforts to keep everyday life functional above an ancient, unstable labyrinth. Is there anywhere in Pennsylvania untouched by mining's legacy? Infrastructure on the brink, road, water, and the cost of collapse. If Pennsylvania's geology is a ticking time bomb, its infrastructure is what's at stake. For every stretch of highway, every neighborhood sewer, every buried pipeline, the question is not if the ground below will shift, but when. The scale of recent incidents is deeply unsettling for families and officials alike. What began as a sewer project in New Kensington quickly escalated, producing a gaping sinkhole large enough to consume a car and threaten businesses and homes nearby. As work crews tried to stabilize the surrounding earth, pavement and pipes vanished into the void. This was not an outlier. It demonstrated the state's stubborn struggle to keep critical infrastructure functional above unreliable ground. The cost is significant and ongoing. Emergency repairs force key roadways to close, reroute buses, and disrupt commerce with massive traffic jams. In the Highlands, Route 80 sinkholes closed a vital artery, sending commuters and truckers onto unfamiliar, sometimes less safe detours. Repairs mean rapid deployment of heavy machinery, geotechnical surveys, and sometimes the sacrifice of nearby land to shore up weakened stretches. Yet beneath the asphalt and concrete, a second crisis is always lurking. Water quality. Sinkholes often disrupt sewers, water main, 
and buried industrial lines, allowing pollutants to enter groundwater that can travel long distances through karst channels. Highlights new interactive dashboards and geo-narrative web tools to help communities track water quality threats related to subsidence events. The risk isn't only dramatic collapse, it's also hidden contamination, heavy metals, pathogens, and industrial runoff carried into aquifers that supply entire towns. Remediation is unrelenting and costly. In Upper Marion Township, the US-202 Remediation Project is a long-term, multi-phase effort as crews excavate, shore up, and rebuild problem sections. Engineers can't always guarantee how long repairs will last. Every fix is a calculated response to a constantly shifting problem, vulnerable to the next heavy downpour or freeze-thaw cycle. For planners and policymakers, these questions grow more urgent by the year. Communities at risk, lives upended by the unseen. Behind every sinkhole incident is a story, sometimes tragic, always disturbing. Earlier this year, Pennsylvania's headlines were dominated not by a natural disaster, but by heartbreak. A 64-year-old grandmother, Elizabeth Pollard, vanished into a 30-foot deep sinkhole in Unity Township, Westmoreland County. For two days, the searchers hoped for rescue, but ultimately shifted to recovery. This is the real terror of Pennsylvania's sinkhole surge, the human toll. There are no distinctive warning sirens and precursors are rare. One moment, the ground is firm. The next, it opens into darkness. First responders mobilize under enormous risk, digging and probing with uncertainty, knowing each passing moment reduces hope. For neighborhoods, the emotional impact is lasting. Families are uprooted when homes are condemned and property values fall suddenly. Some belongings are left behind. The psychological effects, the anxiety and unease often linger. Children, once free to play in yards, are now warned to avoid suspicious patches, cracks, or certain areas that could pose a risk. Across the state, images of shattered landscapes, cordoned off yards, and devastated roads circulate, reminding everyone that even familiar places may hide risk. Even those not directly affected feel the disruptions. Insurance rates rise, home sales slow, and the sense of neighborhood safety changes in a fundamental way. Community centers, churches, and schools become spaces not just for gathering, but for exchanging vital information and mutual support. Residents' stories echo this new uncertainty. Tales of lawns collapsing one night, of porch steps that shifted abruptly, of neighbors working together to fill in small holes or strengthen foundations. If anything, Adversity can foster a stronger sense of community, but the underlying worry often remains. In Western Pennsylvania, hope and uncertainty now coexist. For everyone heading out on a highway or stepping onto their porch, there's a shared question. Will the ground still be there tomorrow? Emergency response and remediation, the race against the earth. When the ground gives way, the human response must be swift and careful. In Pennsylvania, Emergency workers have become experienced at the difficult work of not only rescuing individuals, but stabilizing entire communities threatened by the unpredictable earth. Search and recovery operations are complex and risky. When Elizabeth Pollard vanished into the Unity Township sinkhole, responders encountered hazardous conditions, the risk of additional collapse, dangerous gases, and water flowing into the hole. Even deploying heavy machinery was risky a misplaced weight could prompt a larger collapse. The delicate balance between urgent search and crew safety is as tenuous as the shifting limestone underfoot. As the number of confirmed sinkholes rises, pressure mounts on agencies to shift from reacting to preventing disasters. The Pennsylvania Department of Transportation, along with the USGS, closely monitors vulnerable areas using ground-penetrating radar, advanced mapping, and survey drones. All new construction projects, such as the remediation along US-202 and Route 29, now require thorough geological surveys and core samples before work begins. Will technology ever allow us to predict exactly where and when the next sinkhole will appear? 
mapping the unknowable, new tools in the fight. In the battle with Pennsylvania's underground risks, knowledge is the greatest weapon. As sinkhole incidents increase, so has the sophistication of the tools available to scientists, planners, and citizens. The USGS, working with Pennsylvania's DCNR, is developing high-resolution, interactive maps of at-risk areas, integrating mining data, water flow models, and real-time incident reports. These maps are constantly updated, layered with rainfall, temperature, and urban development data. Each sinkhole is cataloged and each trend analyzed, resulting in vulnerability heat maps that help guide emergency planning and targeted repairs. Interactive public dashboards, highlighted in recent publications like the Spring 2025 issue of Pennsylvania Waters, bring this fight into community spaces. Residents can monitor incident reports, explore digital geonarratives, and contribute observations. The result is shared knowledge. Public officials, homeowners, and scientists have a common understanding, making it easier to build collective resilience. Pennsylvania's geological legacy is vast, complex, and partially unmapped. With every new, collapsed pipe or fierce storm, the boundaries of what we can foresee are tested again. What we see when the ground opens. Across Pennsylvania, time feels different where the ground can swallow years of history in an instant. Sinkholes are more than disruptions. They open deeper questions about certainty, safety, and the long-term consequences of human activity. From the Highlands disrupted highways, to Montgomery and Chester County's ongoing remediation, to the sorrow in Unity Township, the same lesson repeats itself. What we value and build is never truly permanent. The ground itself will have the last word. Yet, each rescue, every repair, and every new tool is marked by resilience, resolve, and the refusal to let uncertainty define the future. As new sinkholes are confirmed and cataloged by the USGS, Pennsylvanians are learning to see beneath the surface, not just the visible road ahead, but the layers of history and science below. In every collapse, there are lessons about vigilance, preparation, and humility before the hidden forces that shape our lives. Will the surge subside, or is Pennsylvania entering a new age of challenge? As projects proceed, families check their foundations and communities come together. One truth remains, the landscape remembers, and so must we. Have you ever witnessed the sudden appearance of a sinkhole or felt uneasy about what lies beneath your hometown? Share your story in the comments below. Like this video if you want more in-depth breakdowns of hidden natural threats. Subscribe and tap the bell for real-time updates so you're always the first to know when the ground starts moving. Because in Pennsylvania, the greatest danger is often the one you cannot see until the moment the earth itself demands your attention.